second guy e30 back here again and um it's time to install my bavarian restorations ground kit so for a mega squirt basically it's very important to have good grounds because when you are tuning you have to adjust the idle air based on um, the voltage that the car is reading and if you have bad grounds um, cause a lot of issues and also with um, startup I got the power cable that goes from the alternator to the um, starter so here's their card really good people they do um, custom uh, e30 clusters and a lot of other stuff and if you check them out on Instagram or any other pages then you'll be really surprised they do some really nice work. First thing you're gonna want to do whenever you're dealing with anything like this is to go ahead and disconnect the battery because you will be dealing with um, power wires if you purchase the whole kit. So again, just going to the back. Couple turns. And just disconnect the negative side. We got our battery disconnected. And here, as I use all the strength of my body, I finally get that nut. <laughs> and yeah, it, it was great because working one handed is really not that fun. So that's the first one. And then. Our next bolt is right up there. Right on top. Get another 13 millimeter. What? I'm the everything guy. I got this. Yeah, I got this. You see this? All right, mm-hmm. I may have used up half of my life just to pull this one nut, but I got this. There we go. So this cable is the alternator ground. It goes between the alternator and the engine. Uh, this cable right here is over on the passenger side. This is the ground between the chassis of the car and the engine. And as you can see, my old cable is pretty beat up and worn out. Probably wasn't giving me the best ground, so that's why I'm going ahead to get that changed out. And I'll get this one put in. As the everything guy struggles gravely, he barely manages to almost not get the... And he's almost... yeah, uh, okay, yeah, we got it. Alright, cool. Um, so, on to the next one now. Um, let's see. Uh, got another... Uh, oh, nope, yeah. I, I'm not good at this, guys. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, there I got it. Pretty simple and easy. Simple and easy, he says. Just set your ground cable. Okay, so there we have our second ground, a 13 millimeter wrench. And then you might need a second wrench to use as leverage. Um, I already loosened this one up just because it's a little bit tight. Okay, so got the first, um, 13 millimeter bolt off and for the next bolt that's there is right up there and as if you can see 10 millimeter bolt so you can just again go ahead and take a wrench and go ahead and pull that and again there you go as you can see a little tiny measly cable and only give me so much ground and then the upgraded Bavarian Restorations cable, a lot thicker. Now I got the second ground in. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt because these cables, um, the ends of them are soldered, so they're a little bit stiff. And then um, the little connectors, the ends are a bit bigger on the 
vine restoration kit so it might take you a little bit of um elbow grease but there it is in its place okay so next ground to install is the hood strap ground and now to fast forward really quickly so that you guys did not see me epically fail because <laughs> this is pretty hard to do one-handed and on top of that you kind of have to um, lift the hood so that you can get that bolt that I'm screwing in right now so hey you guys didn't get to see that but yeah let's move along so now we're gonna get the top bolt and get that installed and we will be done with the hood strap uh, ground all right now I want to let you guys on a little secret I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more videos pretty soon and a lot more voiceovers so if you like it, let me know. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I mean, if you if you don't like it, I'm probably gonna still do them anyways. So you might as well just like the voiceovers because it's not like there's any other option. Alrighty, guys. So time to install the last cable, which is um, the power cable that goes from the alternator to the starter. And as you can see right there, goes from here, goes through this little loom, through this little box comes back out over here goes to the starter so first thing there's a little cap that I removed right here so you can have access to the bolt then what I'm gonna do is um get out of my way I'm going to remove this bracket so I get a little bit more space and if you notice, there's little clips right here, another one right here. I'm gonna slightly prop them open so that I can move this up and get the old cables out and install the new cables. Okay, so decided what I'm gonna do is just um, connect up the new power cables straight over here directly from the starter over to the alternator only issue is that there's a little plastic cover and that won't fit over the existing um, wire connection along with the new wire connection so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to pretty much trim this down all right so as you guys can see, I went ahead and trimmed down the little cover, which is important because you want to keep this stuff protected and pretty much fits how I want it. don't really want to trim off any more than that because then I'm starting to expose stuff a lot more. So I'm just going to take a zip tie and uh, zip tie it from here to here and that should be it for this install and I'll be done all right so as you guys can see got the little zip tie on got that set up and everything um, pretty much what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and uh, start the car pretty good on startup definitely sounds like you left. it definitely sounds like it started up a lot better a lot smoother again there goes the table down here and that's how you install a um, ground and power kit from Bavarian restoration <laughs> 